Hello Bobcats, Mr. Buckman here. I'd like this video, um, we're going to discuss point of view and perspective, something that we will be discussing in both our reading and writing groups throughout the week. Um, but I thought this video might help you so you can see um, what kind of pronouns are used in each of the three perspectives and when we use certain perspectives as well, okay? Before we go into those three perspectives, let's talk about what we mean by point of view, okay? Um, when we are reading or writing, point of view or perspective um, describes who is telling the story, okay? It's answering the question, who is the speaker or the writer, okay? And as I mentioned, there are three types of perspectives or points of view when we are writing or when we're reading. And it's important to understand um, how to recognize those so we can understand what kind of language is used when each perspective is in play. The first one that we're going to go over is first person, okay? Now, in first person, the story is told from an individual point of view. Describing something that is happening to them. I think a good example of first person would be a personal journal. For instance, um, let's say Mr. Buckman has a journal. And I enter in there, uh, July 14th, 2020. Uh, today uh, I went to Oak Creek Canyon and I saw a family of lizards. You'll notice that I'm saying I went to Oak Creek Canyon and I... I saw a family of lizards, okay? It's, it's um, a point of view that is describing something that the author themselves experienced, okay? Now, first person can also be used in a work of fiction when a character is describing something that is happening to them, okay? Like, yeah, you might have Harry Potter is not written this way, but we can think about a chapter in Harry Potter being written from his point of view. He could say something like, I ran into Dumbledore today and he was not happy. So I went back to my dormitory. Okay? And there are certain pronouns that we use when first person is in play. Pronouns like I, me, my, and we. Okay? You'll notice that we would include the person speaking. I, okay? Now, first person is generally used in present tense, but it can be used um, to describe an experience happening to that person in the past tense as well. But it's always written in the moment, okay? Using pronouns like I, me, my, and we. That is first person, okay? You can see this in fiction. As I mentioned, it's generally seen in journal entries, things like that. Now, the next perspective is not seen very frequently, but I'll give you examples of when it's seen, okay? Second person. Now, with second person, the text is told from the reader's point of view. Who is reading this? Well, if you're reading it, then you are the reader, and in a sense, it is your point of view. This can be a little bit confusing. I'll talk about a little bit more about this, okay? This perspective is not used as frequently as first and third person. And there's good reason for that. You know, with second person perspective, this is usually used for advertisements. Think of it this way. You have never bought a better tasting soda. Or, you have never had a better hamburger than you will have at Burger King. That would be an advertisement, and they're talking to you. You're the person that holds the point of view. You are the person who um, is the perspective, okay? So, advertisements would be one. Another type of um, text that would have second person might be like an instruction manual. Or a DIY, a do-it-yourself book. Um, let's say you get an Ikea manual of how to put together some furniture. It might say, you will need to open up all of the uh, bolts 
Um, or you might open up all of the um, little screws that come along with that. Or if there are steps, it might say, you will need to do step one before putting together the rest of the furniture, okay? So once again, for second person, this is really only used for things like advertisements or instruction manuals where they need to be talking about you and you are the person who holds the perspective. Therefore, the pronouns in second person will be pronouns like you and your. Lastly, we need to talk about third person. And I would say that third person is kind of used the most, um, especially when we're trying to talk about situations that have many different characters or when we're talking about something that happened in the past, okay? Um, third person, the text is not told from the perspective of the narrator or the reader, and it's kind of told from the perspective of someone or something that can see all parties involved. Now, this can be very tricky because you might have third person narration where the narrator or the person telling the, or whoever's telling the story, they might not be any of the characters in the story. They might not even know the feelings or thoughts of the characters in the story. Okay? This is very important sometimes when we have things like mysteries where we have to slowly give out uh, key information or clues about the story, okay? So you can have a third person um, telling of the story where they don't know everything in the minds of the characters, but you can also have what's known as third person omni uh, uh, omniscient, which is, think of almost like God looking over all of the characters and over all of the different plot points and over all of the settings of the story. In third person omniscient, that would be a case where they know the thoughts and feelings of the characters, okay? So they might be able to tell the reader what Susie is doing at a certain uh, point, but they might also be able to tell the reader what Susie is feeling as well. Um, third person narration is really well suited for fiction, but it's very well suited for writing about history. Why? Because we always write in the past tense when we are, ta when we are using third person, okay? And I'll show you pronouns that we use with third person would be he, she, they, okay? They're referring to something that is not the reader or somebody who um, actually was experiencing the story themselves, okay? That would be first person, all right? So we have pronouns like he, he walked down the street, or she got a glass of water, or they went to school, all right? Once again, this is used mostly in fiction, but especially when we write about history, okay? I hope that is not too confusing. I will take a picture of the boards that I just put up here and post it with this video so you can look at those boards as well. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.